Hello, Goofy Goobers. I am the funny magic man. I am the man who does the magics. Uh, so today we're, I'm gonna show all of you how to actually pose my models that I made on Gmod. Now, the thing about these models is that they're kind of hard for to pose because they're broken up into different pieces. And I've had people in the comment section of my Steam page saying that they are having trouble posing them. So I'm gonna sh today I'm gonna show you how to do that. So start with posing the limbs. This is Fluffy Sweetle. She's one of my oldest characters. In fact, she's one of the very first ones I ever made. Uh, she's not based off of anything in particular. She's just something that kind of created, and just kind of spat out one day. So. Yeah, a very important thing to take note of is posing these models requires a decent amount of patience because t po actually putting them in the position can probably take some time and you may need to readjust some parts so it looks a bit more natural. So we have, we have Fluffy's lens. Now sometimes I kind of swap out the limbs with other alternate ones, like I have a I have an alternate pair of limbs that are straight, and another that are bent and curved, but for this, but that, uh, that probably deserves its own video, so I'll probably be talking about that in the future. So yeah, okay, limbs are in position, now we gotta change Fluffy's face. Now thing about the face is that it's kind of, it's also the eyelids are kind of just you just kind of pull them off don't try not try not to don't don't freak out about the the eyelid all the lower eyelid also being pulled up it's quite rare for both of them to come off but if they do then it's not really that big of a deal so you can use the eyelids to change fluffy's expression make her angry make her look evil and vengeful in some way Maybe flip her mouth upside down too. Really add to that. She looks absolutely disgusted when she finds out your search history. Or alternatively, you can make Fluffy look super happy. I'm gonna widen her mouth, put it back inside of her head, and now she's happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy little nugget. Okay, so. Now that we got that out of the way, the, uh, the pupils. Now with posing the pupils, you're gonna want to make sure they're both frozen so they don't fall off the head. And with them both frozen, you can move them around. You got, you gotta be kind of careful because you don't want the pupils to be, like you don't want them to be off of the eye itself. You want part of them to be actually inside the eye model itself so they kind of look like they're still part of it. Kind of gives Fluffy, this helps Fluffy look like she's looking in a different direction, and she's happy. I really hope I don't get put on flagged by YouTube kids just because this, there's this cute, colorful, kid-friendly character. Now to contrast this cute, colorful, kid-friendly character, let's go to Apex, or the giant beetle guy. Uh, that was definitely created by a funny, funny scientist goober for unknown reasons. So, Apex is a bit different. Fluffy is what I like to call a non-physics-based model. You can take her apart, put her back together, all that business. Apex, on the other hand, his model, just it's kind of like connected together. Let me actually unfreeze this, so you kind of get what I'm saying. So, you're gonna wanna grab the shoulder, put that into position, then grab the elbow, then put that into position. And you just kind of do this with all those limbs, and eventually they will all be posed. Now, some of my. Uh, so, this is. So some of the models, like, might behave differently. Some of the welds might be looser. And usually, before I upload a model, I try to make sure that all of its welds are tight so it doesn't break apart. Now, these limbs use. use uh, they use X ball socket center so that 
it allows them to kind of be in this it allows them to kind of move like joints while also being the center of everything. You can do this with his legs too. You know that stupid Discord message. I am getting bombarded with them at every 0.5 seconds. An interesting thing about these models is that the hands that they have, these are actually ragdolls that you can finger pose. So let's go to Fluffy over here. Sometimes you might have to actually unweld the hands from the model, change their position. I would probably like try to implement a system, like maybe attach a sphere and like ball socket it to like make them more poseable, but that just seems like quite a bit a lot of work. Might try that later, I'm not sure. As of right now, just kind of un- I just removed them. Piss. Uh, sorry about that. Let me just get one of our other models. Gemma Fluffy. Remove her hands. And you're gonna want to make sure they're both frozen, because if they're not both frozen, they're gonna fall to the ground. Same with the pupils. You want to make sure those are both frozen before you unweld them. And once those are unfrozen, you can finger pose them. Poser tool. Yep, you can pose your little fingers. You can now the finger. The fingers are quite limited, but this is due to the paint rag dolls themselves. These rag dolls are from the Worms pack, and yeah, they're not the best, but they kind of they work. They do their job. So yeah, uh, let's, like let's like close both these hands. Give her clenched fists. She's so, she's, she's so happy. She's so small. She's not actually small at all. She's like the hut. She's like as big as a player. Good lord. That's just because her scaling is completely and utterly diddled. Now, here's where the problem starts. Apex and other characters such as Rosie, who's, a, who's Fluffy's cousin, their hands are larger and smaller because they use Ragdoll Resizer. And one of the consequences that comes with that is Ragdoll Resizer tends to cause the fingers to just kind of not transfer. Like, it will transfer to the other hand to the opposite side of the body, but it won't transfer to the one you're actually trying to select. Now, one of the ways to solve this problem is by trying to look for a sweet spot, but it will often be swapped onto the other hand. So you have to look for that sweet spot on the hand that's already been selected. And then you have to continue from there. So... Yeah. This also sometimes applies with the other hand as well. I'm not sure why it does this, but I think it has something to do with like the ragdoll resets or kind of messing with the parameters of the ragdolls themselves. So maybe that's what causes it? I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm not really an expert, but even though I've been playing this game for years now. Now, Apex generally follows the same rules as the other characters, you know, he has eyes, you know. You're gonna want to make sure both the eyelids and iris and the pupil are frozen before you move them. So... Once again, try not to make- try not to have them be pushed too far out, otherwise it will look weird. Iris is in pupil. You're gonna want to move them both because otherwise it will look like he's not looking in the right direction. All right, now we have that. And you can also use the prop resize or try to, to change the pupils, but the actual size of the pupils to kind of exaggerate their expressions. And if you want to add a little bit extra flair, you can apply a certain material to make it look shiny. Now he looks all super cute and happy. Yay! Beetle! The bug. Actually, he's a big bug. So, now that we got that, but... Yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure that... The thing about the eyes is that when you're resizing the pupils, it can have kind of disastrous effects, particularly with the nugs, the non-physics based ones, so... You'll have to push, pull them out a little bit, shrink them, and then push them back in to make sure they don't go trapped inside the eye, because that can just ruin the whole thing. If they're stuck in there, you can't get them out. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
If you have any questions relating to anything else revolving pose in these characters, you can let me know. I can probably elaborate on it further in a future video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I've been the funny, the funny wizard dude who does the funny. And uh, goodbye.